going on. I want to give Seattle props. They want no police zone. They making a city place held accountable. Good. You know, I saw some racist, hateful people protesting the governor there when they stayed home, and they came with guns and Trump and Pence penance and all kinds of make or take our country, all that crying. But they ain't nowhere in safe for this. Why is that? Because a good old boy rednecks don't care about black folks. And they don't really care. They want things to be done the way they've been done. The lie that's been spread. The killing off of us. So I props to Seattle for saying, hey, we taking this over. Peaceful protest, we taking it over. That's what needs to happen. These lame races and old out of played out police genders have got to change if they want to keep their job and i say if they want to keep their job because they work for us they work for black people dear cops you work for black american citizens get that through your head black folks built this country blood sweat tears pain for 400 years you work for us You'll get your badge through us, not the other way around. Slave patrolling and trying to live off of what your grandpappies and them people told you about black people is old and antiquated. It's a new day. And I'm glad to see the people still standing up to hateful racist Donald Trump. Because his punk butt know he can't win there. So he can't. So he's trying all kinds of tactics and say all kinds of things because he is old news. He doesn't matter there. Yeah, there's some haters who support him and some and some sellouts. Some of those people that do, they ignorant. They don't know no better. Yeah, I see it. Because you have to be pretty stupid and racist or dumb to support Trump. You have to be. The proof is in the pudding. You know. Everything that you see is staring at, and Seattle is showing a very progressive nature to avoid him, and they're not worried about him. And they're not worried about them, them whack police either. If you black, you know what's up, because what they going to do, they ain't done for 400 years already. And just flex and pose. They don't own nothing, but they try to use intimidation as opposed to working together. Imagine what this... Places like that would be like if the cops would actually work with the people and stop trying to intimidate and bully them. And what kind of areas the, the cleanup would be like. Could you imagine a place like that? All right, that's my thoughts and takes about Seattle defending its turf against the police and Trump. That's real talk. Give me your thoughts and your takes. Hit the like it to subscribe. When the bell rings, a new video. Wash your hands, keep your mind clear, watch out for one another. And remember, it's the people who make the community. Not no badge. And not no title. You have to be respectful. However, to get respect, you got to show respect. I'm out.